Welcome to Land the House, I'm Seth. Over the winter time, I did not trickle charge the battery on my lawnmower, and so here in grass mowing season, it's dead. So if I go ahead and plug this up here, and I can pull the choke out. Anyway, it's turning a little bit, but not as it should. So I think what I'm gonna do is move it out into the sun and uh, charge this up with one of the solar panels that I've got. So let's go ahead and get a tiny charge controller and a solar panel and charge this mower out here. Uh, so, but first I need to get it out there and I've got this uh, really cool device that I've used a number of times. It's the Ampeak uh, Jump Starter. Let me show you what this looks like real quick. So you flip that back. And this tool basically is like a traditional jump starter, except it is this tiny uh, lithium battery. So let me put you on the tripod real quick. So you take this little box and you plug up the alligator clamps here. And on this, there is a display. So whenever I hook this up to the battery, you'll be able to see that it uh, shows the battery voltage on there. So right now it says, uh, let's see, 12.5, 12.4. So it is a bit low. So let's go ahead and crank this up real quick. Get my key. So I'm gonna push the power button right there. It'll crank up immediately. Now it's saying 14.1. Uh, Yeah, you're actually already in the video on the side over there. <laughs> so I went up to get my miniature charge controller and a solar panel, and I forgot the Bogar V or Bojar V panel that I was supposed to make a review on about six months ago. Uh, this is actually specifically designed to charge up a 12 volt battery. So it's got a 12 volt, it's 14.8 overcharge. The floating charge voltage is 13.55 and uh, rated charging power is 20 volts. Uh, so basically this panel alone is supposed to charge this battery up to 14.8. So let's go ahead and use this panel. Uh, I'll show you the rest of the stuff that comes with this in a moment. Uh, but let's go ahead and charge up this battery. All right, let's go ahead and move this seat up. All right, so this is the battery. We're not gonna touch that, okay? Because it'll shock you. All right, so on this panel on the back side. It's got, I forget what this plug is called, but I'm gonna go ahead and plug this up. Okay. but don't touch it. Yep, don't touch the battery. Well, right. so we can also not touch that. Correct, yeah. All right, so dad's gonna take these alligator clips. Alligator. Yep, alligator. Then why is it called alligator clips? Because they look like alligators. And then I can take this panel and turn it into the sun like this, and it will begin to charge up that battery. All right, for a voltage reference, yeah, you did touch the wheel. For a voltage reference, before this charges up too much, let me see what we got here. 13.1 on the battery. So we'll let that sit for an hour or so and come back and check it again. I forgot to check the time earlier, but I think it's been about an hour. Let's see what our battery is showing here. 13.5. Uh, so it's charged a little bit, not as much as I'd like to have seen. This battery may just be dead. Another 30 minutes has passed. I've angled the panel into the sun perhaps a little bit better. Let me just check to see if this thing ever reached 13.5 volts or uh, even better be 14, but let's see what we got here. Yeah, so we're at 13.5, so I think that's as high as this little panel is gonna bring this right now, which is still better than the uh, 12 point whatever it was we had before. Okay, close this up. Let's see if this will start now.
Well, that definitely helped. It started right up. So I'll have to uh, install this solar panel onto my shop over here, somewhere maybe kind of where this one is right here. And that way I can run the power inside. And then during the winter time, I can just swap back and forth between the mower and the four wheeler and just trickle charge or keep these batteries good during the winter. I'm gonna go ahead and get some mowing done. I'll bring you back later for actually doing this where we install this little panel and uh, get all of that hooked up here in the shop for charging these during the winter time. But I'm gonna go mow some grass for a while. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye. Because I forgot to film the review video, let's go ahead and just go over this real quick. And then whenever we install this more permanent here on the shed, I will talk about it again. Um, so here is the front of the panel. And then back here, you've got your fuse box and a very nice long cord. The specs real quick. It is made for, to charge a 12 volt battery, overcharge 14.8 volts, floating charge 13.55 volts, rated charging power 20 volts, rated charging current 1.5, uh, 45 amps, uh, pre-charge current 0.35 amps, working temp is 45 to 85 C. So it also comes with a couple of other things. Uh, we were using the alligator clamps here. It also has uh, a cable with just your battery terminal. And then it's got uh, four different plates for mounting. So if you flip up the panel here, it's got uh, the four different holes and it is waterproof. So you can mount this on a boat and then it's got uh, either hardware for a concrete wall or for um, something else. So just the hardware to get that installed. Okay, um, so I will bring this back out in a future video when we get it hooked up to the shed here. And if you want a solar panel that will charge up your 12 volt battery without having to use a charge controller, I have a link to this in the description down below.